My name is Sean Delenti. I'm an independent consultant. I'm an award-winning educator working to facilitate positive LGBT plus inclusion in learning communities. The aims of my work are to make learning communities safe, inclusive, successful spaces for all stakeholders, so students and pupils, staff and parents as well. I've been very lucky to win a number of national awards. Uh, I was named Education Champion at the National Excellence in Diversity Awards. I was also honoured at Southwark Cathedral with the Mayor of Southwark's highest civic honour. And in 2016, I was designated a point of light by the UK Prime Minister for my services to the LGBT and education communities. So I was at school myself in the 1980s. I knew I was gay from a very early age. Uh, I experienced a lot of homophobic bullying from my peers at school, but also from some of the teachers as well. And at that time, there was a piece of legislation called Section 28, uh, which meant that teachers couldn't really talk about LGBT plus identities. I was bullied very badly, and as a result of that, it affected my learning, um, my attendance at school, I became depressed, I became very anxious, and in the end, uh, I felt very bad about myself and I actually left school for good. Uh, over 10 years of working in the field has enabled me to work with countless learning communities, thousands of education professionals. Uh, I speak to hundreds of young people around the country, telling my story of surviving homophobic bullying myself, but also working with education professionals to lead them through a process of organisational change. And this has impacted and made lasting change to a large number of schools, colleges and universities around the country. We know from research that nearly half of young LGBT students in schools are experiencing direct homophobic bullying. That has an effect on physical and mental well-being. It has an effect on attendance. It has an effect on learning outcomes. It also affects them in terms of anxiety levels and depression, and that can lead, unfortunately, to self-harm and possibly suicide. I've had the great privilege of working with hundreds of learning communities around the United Kingdom and abroad, but I've also worked with the leading teacher trade unions in the United Kingdom. I've worked with uh, hate crime organisations. I've worked with human rights organisations such as Amnesty International. I've worked with the police. I've worked with the health services. And I've worked with a number of faith groups, including the Church of England. Uh, my work has been recommended over time by Amnesty International, by the Church of England, and endorsed by the Three Faiths Forum as well. Back in 2009, in the school that I was then working at in London, a primary school, we undertook some pupil questionnaires and surveys. They showed us that 75% of the primary school pupils in our care were experiencing daily homophobic bullying. 98% of them were hearing the use of the word gay as a pejorative term. Oh, that's so gay, it's so gay. And I knew that I had to do something about that. I looked around for a training programme for primary school teachers around LGBT plus inclusion and I could find nothing. So faced with that data, faced with that level of bullying, I had to do something myself. So I wrote a training programme called Inclusion for All and that has now become Celebrating Difference. Well, schools can choose to do certain things and they have to do others. And right now in the UK, schools, all schools, including faith schools, have a statutory expectation under the Equality Act 2010 to further equality and eliminate discrimination towards LGBT plus people. My programme of work, Celebrating Difference, and my book can help schools undertake that journey and make their schools safer and more inclusive, but also compliant under the Equality Act. To any school that's nervous about undertaking LGBT plus inclusion work, I would say, well, I know how that feels because that was me and my school once upon a time. But despite how we felt, we found out via pupil voice that our students were suffering and they were experiencing LGBT plus bullying. And those brilliant, amazing young people deserve to be safe and included and successful and happy. And that's why the work that I do and the book that I've written is so important. So please, for the sake of your young people, let's work through this together. My proudest moments are really those moments in which young people reach out to me after I've been and spoken in their school, perhaps when they've read my tweets or my blogs on social media, and young people write to me and say, you've changed my life. By coming here into our school and telling your story, or speaking out, or coming and helping our teachers to become more inclusive, you've changed our lives for good forever. Now that's something that I wish I didn't have to do, I wish it wasn't necessary, but to be able to do that and be asked to do that is an immense privilege 
and it makes me very proud, not just of my own work, but of all those amazing young people in our schools who do face bullying and prejudice every single day. So most of all, I'm proud of them. My message for young LGBT plus people, or anybody that's experiencing bullying of any kind, is to first of all reach out and get help, to tell somebody, but not to own that, not to let other people uh, make you feel less than the amazing, wonderful, brilliant, diverse human being that you absolutely deserve to be.